This is the second lesson about creating Joomla content and quite possibly the one you've really been waiting for. You'll now learn how to create Joomla articles. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create an article in Joomla. Start by logging into Administrator and then click on the button labelled Article Manager. If you install the sample data, you'll see several articles listed. Create a new article by clicking the New button at the top. Then enter a heading for the article in the title box. You also need to tell Joomla where the article should be stored. So choose the relevant category. In this case, we'll use the geography category that was created in the previous lesson. Skip the other options. Click inside the article text box and start typing. I'll paste some text that I prepared earlier. This text editor includes features similar to a word processor. For example, you can highlight some text and make it bold by clicking the B. The best way to get familiar with these features is to simply experiment. The one feature you'll probably use a bit is the link tool. To use this, highlight the relevant text and click this button that looks like a chain. A new window appears and you need to enter the web address of the link. You don't need to set anything else, so click the Insert button and the pop-up window disappears. You'll notice that your text has changed to indicate the presence of a link. If you ever need to change the link, just click somewhere inside the link text and click the Link button again to bring up the window. When you're done, click Save and Close to return to the Article Manager. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll notice that there are navigation buttons that link to other pages within Article Manager. You can click the Next button here to view the next set of articles. By default, 20 articles are displayed at a time. By changing the setting in the Display drop-down menu, you'll be able to see more or fewer articles on each page of the Article Manager. As your site grows, it becomes more difficult to find the article you want to manage, so Joomla provides some filtering. Back at the top, you can enter a word that you know appears in the title of your article. Click the Search button to view the results and click the clear button to return to the full list. You can also filter by category. And if you have more than one person using the site, you can filter by author. Articles have a feature where you can unpublish them, which hides them on the front end and you can filter the list using this feature too. Now, the obvious thing to do next would be to go to the front end of the site and look at the article that was created. However, it isn't there yet, and this is a vital point to understand with Joomla. What we did is create an article, and this has been stored in Joomla. However, there are several ways to display content, and so there is a final step to perform. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to display content by creating a menu. Joomla has been criticised as not being a search engine friendly platform, but this is absolutely not true. There are, however, several tricks to getting the best results to improve your chances of good search engine rankings. These are demonstrated in the search engine friendly lessons that are part of the Joomla Pro course. Learn more about this today by clicking the link or button on this page to take you to our site. Grab our Joomla Pro course and start improving your search engine rankings.